We are hitting a lot of limitations in the current computing scenario and the computer architecture. Moore's Law talked about the doubling of semiconductor transistors every 18 months. And so now we're at a point where we're almost at a crossroads. It's exciting to see uh, the United States want to invest in semiconductor manufacturing. Chips is very, very exciting to me because I think it's very encouraging to know that people are again realizing the importance of future computing. This is a unique time and space for Georgia Tech to actually capture some of that, but also kind of lead the way. The stack going from material to manufacturing at the base level to devices like transistors, to circuits, to architectures, to software, all the way up the stack. Jordan Tech is an outstanding institution to do cutting edge work in microelectronics because of our facilities, because of our outstanding staff in those facilities, because of the diversity of faculty and students across many disciplines. We are covering the entire full stack and we don't even need to go outside to look for collaborators, we can just run into experts in the same building. We haven't had as many people going into the field uh, as we have needed. That funding is going to help to bring in a new generation of talent. You know, not only with those that are traditionally, you know, been involved in the space, but some of the non-traditional communities. The CHIP acting is also encouraging more engineers, more people, more students to really take this seriously, that we really need more effort in this area. The other thing that it's going to do too is really help to enhance right, our national security. So we must do this.